I met Thurman personally and was able to sit and listen to him um, at Fellowship Church. This was after I had moved back to California. I had lived in Atlanta where I first was introduced to Thurman on page and hearing quotes from him and reading his story. But I had moved back to California and I heard that he was preaching at Fellowship Church. Uh, it was the anniversary of its founding. Um, he wasn't uh, a permanent pastor there anymore, but he uh, essentially would, would come back. So this was an anniversary uh, Sunday. And so I went to the church then and I sat um, just a few feet away from him as he preached in the pulpit. And when I talk about the stirring of the spirit, there was that same stirring and being in that space and, and listening to him. He was slow and deliberate. Uh, he was definitely older. Um, but that same churning of my soul, of the spirit, of the sense of God presence um, happened while I was sitting there listening to him. And one of the beauties of that day was at the end of service they mentioned if you want to meet Howard Thurman or um, he's going to be downstairs. And so I gleefully <laughs> went downstairs to, to, to see him, to be in that space. I just couldn't leave that church after, after experience what I did in hearing him preach. And so I went down there and he was standing in front of these this book of this book of t this table of books, uh, many of his titles and many of them I had already had, but I didn't have the sense of presence either to bring my books to have him sign it or to even buy a book there. But he was standing in front of the table, and so I went down, and uh, I said, when I got into my space in line, and finally was able to to stand next to him and. So I just said, Howard Thurman, I'm so, so excited. I, you know, I, I'm so happy to meet you. And he, and he was really embarrassed. He was really like, uh, like, who is this? <laughs> and, uh, but humble. It wasn't a puffiness about him. It wasn't like, oh, you ought to be happy to meet me. It was really a, um, a sincere humbleness and appreciation for my enthusiasm in seeing him. And he, he says, why, why, thank you. And he leaned down. And he shook my hand. And um, I always look back on that time because in that brief moment, um, we didn't know that I would be tracing his life, that I would live and stay with, in his home with Mrs. Thurman and be in his library and going through his, his papers. and and just going to his home in Daytona and all these spaces where he preached and being at Marsh Chapel at Boston University, being at Morehouse and Spelman Colleges, all those spaces in his life um, that I would revisit and be, and, and pay so much, um, to be so attentive to. And, and, and um, so I always think of that as, as one of the most memorable times in terms of my life, but also, it gave me a sense and understanding of him that I could take with him, take with me in doing the film um, later.